Hello, I'm Christine Niles. Today's March 4th, 2021. Here are your latest church militant headlines. The D.C. Archdiocese is paying disgraced Cardinal Donald Wuerl $2 million. Financial records show donations are going towards his, quote, continuing ministry activities. Wuerl resigned in 2018 after he was caught lying about his knowledge of sexual crimes by homo predator Theodore McCarrick, his predecessor. Wuerl himself came under scrutiny after the Pennsylvania grand jury report revealed he paid hush money to a child porn priest involved in a sex ring. Turning to Germany, where a bishop is failing to walk back his comments about giving Holy Communion to Protestants. Liberal Bishop Georg Betzing, head of the German Bishops' Conference, clarified in a letter this week he does not support so-called intercommunion between Protestants and Catholics. He does, however, support giving the Eucharist to Protestants who've discerned they should receive, in direct defiance of Catholic teaching that only practicing Catholics may receive. The Biden-Harris administration remains wildly unpopular, at least on YouTube. Practically every video featuring Biden reveals dislikes, outnumbering likes by the many thousands. Kamala Harris fares a little better, also with thousands more dislikes than likes on her videos. Contrast that with President Trump, whose ratio of likes to dislikes, even on left-wing sites like CNN, show the opposite, vastly more favorable than Biden. Officials in Michigan are denying election irregularities as a number of state audits reach their close. Secretary of State Jocelyn Benson, a Democrat with ties to the Southern Poverty Law Center, repeated Tuesday her claim that this election was the safest in history. Benson and other leftists have denied or downplayed concerns about election integrity, including glaring problems with the vote counting process in Detroit. In New York, Andrew Cuomo is getting backlash for refusing to resign. The governor fielded questions yesterday about multiple sexual harassment allegations, apologizing, then confirming he would not be stepping down. Critics have since blasted him on social media, calling him a sociopath, narcissist, and liar. For example, national security expert Brigitte Gabriel tweeted, Andrew Cuomo, fake tears, fake outrage, fake person. And staying in New York, the government is maintaining stringent social distancing rules, even for dancing at wedding receptions. New rules ban wedding guests from sharing a table with other households and even mandates social distancing zones set up on the dance floor. New York has seen some of the strictest COVID rules in the country throughout the past 12 months. I'm Christine Niles. Those are your church militant headlines. Please watch The Vortex today, where Michael continues unraveling a cover-up in Detroit. God bless you.